Hello everyone, and welcome to RPA Stuff. In this video, we will be exploring an example of Excel data manipulation that you'll commonly encounter as an RPA developer. Let's examine our problem statement. We have two input sheets in our Excel file. Sheet 1 contains a table arranged by order, including the name of the customer and the material they have ordered. Sheet 2 contains the mapping of each material with its corresponding material code that can be found in Sheet 1. Our objective is to populate Sheet 3, where line items will be arranged by name, with all orders and material codes combined together and separated by commas. You can pause this video and try the solution at your end. But before that, please hit like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to skip ahead to the solution, you can jump directly to it by fast-forwarding the video by a minute. Now let us see the solution. I have our Excel file with Sheet 1 and Sheet 2 as input. Sheet 3 will be our output sheet. I will be using Excel as a database to build the solution. If you are new to this concept, you can refer to my video on Excel automation. Connect to the Excel file using database connect action. It's a good practice to disconnect all open sessions. We will be adding other actions between these two actions. Our first step will be to get all unique names from Sheet 1. To do this we will use read from action and provide select distinct query. This SQL query selects unique combinations of first name and last name from the Excel sheet named Sheet 1. The distinct keyword ensures that each combination appears only once in the result set. I will test this query and save the results in a CSV file for better understanding. Make sure the session name is correctly mentioned in all actions. As you can see, this query extracts all unique names from our sheet. This provides us with the first two columns of our required output. I will switch to export to data table action from read from action. Assign the query output to table name table. Our next step is to extract order details and material code details for the names we have acquired in previous step. So I will first read all material code mapping from sheet 2 and store it in another data table variable named mapping. I will be using select asterisk query to get all data from sheet 2.
Now we have to identify all order numbers and material names for each name present in the file. To do this we will loop through name table data table. Drag and drop loop action and select iterator as for each row in data table. Variable will be name table and to store values of each iteration create record variable. I will keep it as table row. Now, create two string variables to store the first name and last name for each iteration. Use string assignment for this purpose. Now take database read action to test our next query. We will write select query with where condition to extract all details from sheet 1 for each name in an iteration. This SQL query selects all columns from the Excel sheet named sheet 1 where the first name column matches the value stored in the variable first name and the last name column matches the value stored in the variable last name. I will store the result for our understanding in result 2 CSV file. Since we are testing this query for just one iteration, I will add loop break action. This is temporary and will not be present in our final code. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, we got all order details and material name for our first unique name Bob Dylan in a table. Now we have to map this with material codes from sheet 2. First we will replace our read from command with export to table action. Assign query output to the variable say unique table.
Now, to get material code, we will use data table join action. Our first table will be unique table variable and second table will be mapping variable. Column name in both this table will be material name. In type we will select left outer join, a left outer join retrieves all records from the left table and matching records from the right table. If there's no match in the right table, null values are returned. Assign the output of this action to another data table variable. I will name it as result. To check output of this action we will write this data table to CSV file. I am naming this file as result3. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, now we have material code for our extracted names. Our next step will be to merge order number and material codes respectively. Take a loop action, select iterator as each row in data table. Variable will be result and to store iteration create record variable result row. Now we have to create two string variables to store comma-separated order and material code values. First, ensure there are no residual values from previous iterations by assigning an empty string to both variables before entering the loop. Within the loop, include an if condition to assign values directly to the variables during the first iteration, while subsequent values are added comma separated within the else condition. In if condition, select condition type as string condition. Check if order variable is empty. If the condition is satisfied, assign result row variables order value directly to order variable. If condition is not satisfied, assign order variable comma result row variables order value to order string variable. Do the same for material code values.
Now we have all data required for our final output. Our next step is to add this data to Sheet 3. For this, we will be using Insert Query to populate Sheet 3. This SQL query inserts variable values such as first name, last name, order, and material code into specific columns of a spreadsheet named Sheet 3 in an Excel workbook. Let us remove the break action and run the bot. As you can see, our bot ran successfully and the output is as expected. Thanks for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you next time.